A line has been drawn in the beaches of South Walton County, but where it sits depends on who you talk to. A law unanimously passed by the Florida legislature and signed by Governor Rick Scott took effect July 1st. This law nullified a Walton County ordinance which sought to allow public access to certain dry sandy portions of the county's beaches. For beachfront property owners like Bill Hackmeyer, the rule is a vindication. Hackmeyer is the president of the Homeowners Association of Vizcaya, a neighborhood on scenic Highway 30A that has sought to assert private property rights over the beach. The United States is the, is the one great country because we recognize property rights and the rule of law. If property rights were not recognized and people and, and, and the government could take private property for public, for public use, then it would be like Cuba, Venezuela, old-time Russia. It, that we would be just like all the other countries. Yeah. But we're the greatest country in the world. The Vizcaya neighborhood has placed private property signs on the beach, hired a part-time security guard, and called upon Walton County Sheriff's deputies to move people that were set up on the beach in front of the development. Visitors unfamiliar with changing laws have found themselves being asked to move beach umbrellas, chairs, and coolers to the wet sand near the water's edge. So far, there have been no arrests for trespassing, and Walton County Sheriff's Office is left having to play referee in a murky battle between the public and private use of the beaches in Walton County. Where all this is wet, and where we were set up, but this morning the water was coming up, and it was coming onto this. So it was, this is all wet sand where the water has come, and where does there, if you're it's in the very wet unclear. Line, it's, you're good to go. If you're the to add to the confusion, on Thursday, Governor Rick Scott placed a moratorium on state regulation that could inhibit public beach access. Every Floridian and visitor has the right to fully enjoy our state natural resources, said Scott in a press release. But it's not yet clear how this will impact the situation on the ground in South Walton County. In the meantime, beach visitors and law enforcement are left to figure out where exactly the line is between public and private beach in Walton County. Back. Very much. I respect what you do every day. All right. Sorry, I got you standing there. You're, you're all right.